Absolutely. Don de Don. It's an anime about kids trying to protect their genitals from supernatural beings. Okay, so that might sound crazy, but you gotta understand the guy who wrote this was an assistant who used to work on Chainsaw Man. So as you could probably guess, this dude is not fucking mentally stable. And unlike Chainsaw Man, this show is actually a romance in its peak. Okay, so amongst everything that's airing right now, Don and Don is easily one of the best, maybe even the best. Actually, I'd have to put it on the ReZero Season 3, because ReZero is having a crazy start right now. Season 3 of ReZero might actually be the greatest thing I've ever seen, bro. Literally, first episode in, they sacrifice a little kid, while also expanding on important plot devices. In the second episode, Subaru gets fucking lynched. I've never been this excited to see someone get lynched before. Anyway, back to Don and Don. Okay, so the first episode starts out with some domestic violence. This is a great starting point, actually, because in in about 10 minutes, it's gonna escalate to grape without the G. Okay, so Momo Ayase, our main character who just got beat up and dumped by her boyfriend, decides to sit with this nerdy kid who's getting bullied completely on a whim. But I gotta give points to these bullies though for their innovation. Stuffing paper balls with magnets, I gotta give some points to them. That's top tier hating. Okay, hold on, just zoom in and look at his fucking face, bro. He's just excited to cause chaos. Okay, so after this happens, Momo leaves and the nerdy kid chases her down the hallway to ask her about her thoughts on the political state of intergalactic communications right now. That's not an exaggeration either. So naturally, she gets weirded out and says something along the lines of, You have no friends. Kill yourself. Okay, so now he's like depressed. He's thinking about something. He's probably thinking about all the bad experiences he had in life. Like that time he attempted to do a backflip with no prior training or stretching involved. Or that time he put his life savings on a parlay that Vegeta would win two fights in a row and then he went bankrupt. Okay, now that I'm thinking about it, those might have just been my experiences. Never mind. Yeah, but also fuck Vegeta. I'll never get that money back, bro. Okay, so after she realized she was being a little bit mean, she tries to apologize to him by telling him she believes in ghosts but not aliens. Huh. <sighs> Bitch, what? Yeah, so he doesn't believe in ghosts and she doesn't believe in aliens. So naturally, they start fighting. And everyone knows fighting only leads to competitive challenges. So now he's at a haunted tunnel and Momo's at a hospital known for alien abductions. In retrospect, this was probably a bad idea. I mean, like, in reality, there was like no scenario where this is like a positive outcome for either of them. Yeah, so naturally, and uh, spoiler alert, aliens and ghosts exist and they attack them. Okay, from the looks of it, anime villains have graduated from murder, kidnapping, arson, to sexual assault. Okay, so these aliens with psychic powers came to Earth and now they want to have sex with Momo so they could reproduce. And if you're wondering what happened to old Cult Kun, just know G got his meat eaten and not in like the good way. Okay, so quick check in. Yo, if any of this disturbs you, like as a manga reader, just know it, it will only get worse from here. Okay, so right before the aliens could have sex with Momo, Okoku makes a phone call and kicks the alien through the fucking phone. I'm pretty sure this is a reference to Soldier Boy or some shit. After that, the spirit comes out the phone, proceeds to speed blitz one of the aliens, and bites its meat off. She was crazy efficient here, too. It's like he gave Tiana Trump one for all. And after that, the spirit eats the next guy's meat, and like, this doesn't sound like the plot to an anime anymore. Then we learn that third time's a charm is not actually a real thing because the third alien manages to take him down. Then we get a quick flashback into a quick power up. And then he gets quickly humbled. After he gets packed up, the alien immediately tries to have sex with her again. But he accidentally awakens her hidden psychic power. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. They destroy the entire spaceship and crash it through a building. I'm gonna lie, that was cool as fuck. And now Momo decides to ask Akokun what his actual name is. Takakura Kendus. 
and Takakura, which is also the name of her favorite actor and the love of her life. It's like probably the best way you could possibly foreshadow a romance like I've ever seen. Okay, so there's a lot of anime airing right now, and most of them are like pretty ass. But if you have the time in the day, I recommend watching this one. And if you don't have the time in the day, I recommend calling out of work or skipping school, whatever you gotta do, man. And if you don't have Netflix or Crunchyroll, I recommend using pirating websites. You know, it's against the law, but you know, fuck it, it's just the law, who cares? If you made it this far, I recommend subscribing to. Bitch. Huh? What did you just call me?